Copestone Podcast. I can see where you come from, but I know just what you want from. The world matters in the world's matters, but the ones who stop it fall from your level. This is Coach Stone Podcast number 17. I want to thank everyone for listening to Coach Stone Podcast. I want to thank JC Hawks Radio, JC Hawks Sports Network. Remember, you can visit my site for all my, my blogs and past podcasts, my PE games, and my books at CoachStoneFootball.com. You can listen to all my old podcasts on either iTunes or Stitcher. My next guest on the Coach Stone Podcast number 17, I have Kyle Oppenheimer, Executive Director and Founder of Helmets to Heal. Coach, are you there? Yes, I am. How are you doing tonight? Dude, we've like talked for like five hours, haven't we? No, I'm just kidding. You know, it's, it's funny. Um, before we start, Coach, I just want to um, say thanks for being a guest on, on the show. Uh, I'm going to tell the audience about the game plan, okay, that for those – you know, I only have like five viewers, so we got to – well, no, I'm sorry. We have like ten now. We can thank, we, we can thank Steve Sloan for that, you know, yeah, um, from Tackle Tube USA. But here's what we'll do is um, – so what we're going to do is a game plan. We're going to talk about a pregame. We're going to let you talk about yourself, right? Mm-hmm. Then we're going to go to some commercial breaks. Ho- hopefully, we're, we're, we have so many commercial breaks now, we don't even need whistles anymore. That's pretty cool about this uh, podcast. It only took me 17 to get that many commercials. Um, but what we'll do is we'll talk about that after the pregame. We'll talk about the kickoff question or strive question. We'll go inside for halftime, come back. We'll do a kick return question, second drive question, and then after that, we'll go two-minute warning and then end the game. And if we have to, we'll go to overtime. Does that sound good, Coach? Sounds fantastic. Perfect. Well, let's do this, okay? Pre-game, right? Coach, mm-hmm. the floor is yours. Tell us about yourself. Um, I'm uh, executive director, obviously, of uh, Helmets to Heal. Um, I started this about three years ago. Um, I was coaching at uh, Racine Horlick. And we were looking for ways to get uh, newer helmets on the kids and uh, being able to less, less affluent program. Um, I had this idea that, you know, maybe we could uh, get bigger companies like I work for at uh, GE because they're doing a thing called the Rio program, which is basically they're trying to um, show off basically be able to tell if a person had CT or not with their MRI machine. So I decided to go to GE and ask them about doing it. And um, I got a response back that um, if it was a bigger program, that they would definitely be more willing to do that. And so I decided to start Helmets to Heal and put as many programs as I could together um, with a need and um, try to at least set a platform that parents could work off of and we could, you know, create a partnership that made it safer and it also um, brought numbers back, much needed numbers back to the game. So we've been, uh, it's been, it's been a fun ride so far and, and uh, we're getting a lot of, uh, you know, people that are interested in, in what we're doing and, and really our, as a, as a nonprofit, our, our main goal is to help, any way we can um, and allow the coaches to coach and, um, you know, give some ownership to the parents, um, empower them to, you know, go out and actually, you know, actually do the studying and, and actually figure out what, you know, what's safe or what fits their kid the best, what would they feel better um, with and almost being an advocate for the game, um, not so much, you know, eliminating or breaking it down, but making it safer and increasing the numbers along the way. Awesome. Okay, Coach, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go to commercial break with high and Mm -hmm. tight. When we come back from commercial break, we are going to talk about the kickoff question. And I know you touched a little bit about your company, Helmets to Heal, the nonprofit organization. But before Mm -hmm. we go, how do – well, you know what? We'll just go to commercial, and then you can tell everybody how to get to it social media-wise. Is that okay? Yeah, sounds great. Perfect. We'll do the high and tight. We'll do high and tight commercial. We'll be right back. Coach Stone podcast number seventeen. Do you preach about ball security? Is getting better each day something you strive to do? Do you want to work to eliminate fumbles? 
a high and tight teaching football is a revolutionary design football that encompasses virtually every method known to eliminate fumbling, thus maximizing your opportunity to be victorious. The high and tight teaching and training football is state-of-the-art patent football that gives athletes and those around instant audible feedback when you are holding the football correctly, high and tight, thus closing the gap between the wrist and the body and the elbow and the body. Whether you're a player, utilize the wing tee carrying with two hands over the ball or a pro style against their body, high and tight provides an audible alert when proper hold is executed correctly. Start to create habits that win games with teaching your players how to carry the ball high and tight. Order yours today at highandtight.com. Use promo code Coach Stone to save. Back from commercial break, Coach, we have the kickoff question. I got Coach O on the line. Um, Coach, the kickoff question is this. What is, and now you talked about it earlier in the pregame, the helmets to heal, the help with, you know, safety and technology, helmets, you know, things like I, I see on your website, second skull, things like that. We'll talk about that later on. But, you know, what is exactly helmets to heal? And where did it, like you said, it started in Racine, Wisconsin. Are you just talk a little about it, if you don't mind, and then we'll go from there. Is that okay? Yeah, sounds good. Perfect. Um, Floor is yours. Um, with you know, with Helmets to Heal, we've created a platform that um, we work off of the partners that we have: uh, Tackle Tube, Second Skull, um, Athlete Intelligence, Zenith. Um, we're actually the uh, community outreach program for Zenith Helmets, um, and we. We basically part, partnered up with, you know, tons of, you know, at least leaders and new up, up and comers in the um, industry and really searched out what we felt were going to be keys to one, making the game safe or making the parents, you know, feel better about their kids playing football and, and, and just, like I said, allowing the coaches to coach, um, bringing, bringing all of that together we you know we started a a three-step program uh where we basically go and we assess a program we make sure that this program is up you know up to standards at least um of getting you know making sure that their helmets are reconditioned making sure that you know bladders and everything like that and helmets are 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 properly you know are are maintained making sure that uh, they're just doing what they have to to make it as safe as they can because they are, you know, they're taking on the responsibility of of their athletes to protect them, you know, not, not only teach them how to properly play the game, you know, almost a microcosm of life, but also the responsibility and the safety that comes with it. And um, that's what we ask with the programs that we do work with and, and so do our partners. Um, and we basically we go in and, and we do a complete overhaul if needed. Um, if not needed, we just add, you know, bits and pieces to see if we can't mitigate the risk of, of you know, of injury um, as it comes to football. And hopefully in the end, we can empower the parents enough to want to continue this program moving forward. And um, with the tools that we have, you know, put together with a lot of these fantastic and giving companies that we work with, um, that we've given them all the tools that they need to succeed. And they can see numbers increase and and um, hopefully, you know, we can see the game flourish back to the numbers that they used to, you know, be at. You know, the cool thing you said about your company, you know, even though it's like helmets to heal, right? It's not, it, when it first started, it was about helmets, right? And now yeah. you've evolved this. You know, I always say this, like with my company, Coach Stone Football, you know, give a little little plug there, right? I'm just kidding. Uh, but with that, it's like a kid, right? It's, it's born, it's, it's grown up, it's starting to walk. And with your company, you were about the helmets, helmets, helmets. Mm-hmm. But now you've, You've done even more. You said about the numbers. The one thing I see, and I think you said it numerous times, is the lack of kids playing tackle football, right? Yes. And it's 
pretty cool because your organization really doesn't charge anything. You guys no. just – you guys – that's so with my audience members listening, if you're listening right now, you know, and now we might have 12 listeners, Coach. I just want you to know that. So <laughs> I know it's so funny. We, we both – I've – we, I saw your bio picture. We both have TV faces. You know what I mean? So I don't yeah, know why this is a podcast, loves- right? right? Exactly. So your company, you, you can contact you guys, right? Can you do me a favor before I go any further? What's the yeah. Facebook, Twitter? All, give, give them how, to, how do they reach you, right? How do they reach you? And then I'll talk a little bit more. Um, on Facebook, you can uh, find us at Helmets. It's at Helmets to Heal is the um, tagline for it. Um Please like it. Um, the more likes we get, the more, obviously, with Facebook, the more likes you get, the more every time you share something, it gets out there. Um, on Twitter, it's at Helmets Heal, which that is a Helmets Do Not Heal. Um, and um, on uh, you can contact us at – contact me personally at uh, KRO at HelmetsToHeal.com, or you can get a hold of my – lovely girlfriend Christine at CFM at helmets to heal.com and we will get back to you as soon as possible um, we're pretty open um, our my phone number is on there um, I'm on our website at www.helmsheal.com and if, if, any questions any any anything that we can assist your program with uh, feel free to contact us and and we can set something up and, and talk about what we can do so, so like, and let, let me, I, I don't mean to do this. So with your program, okay, how I took it and how, you know, people have talked to you about your program. Now, you guys are just in Wisconsin right now, correct? Correct. Okay, but you would like to go global in a way. So if a program out there, right, say, say like a inner city Chicago program, mm-hmm. don't have the funds to get, because, you know, back in the day, remember when we were little, like mm-hmm. we had to just fit a helmet, right? Even though like right. they had like 60 kids and they only had 61 helmets so you just right. put that helmet on your right. company will kind of help if if the, if it's needed to get those either more helmets or other equipment that you have evolved your company to get is that correct yeah that is correct um we we want it to be a completely i mean obviously we we started with football but we obviously want to even go in into every sport um there's so many great tools and small companies that are out there that are just starting out right now that you really don't hear much about that can really bring safety to all sports. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, it's, we definitely, we would love to be able to help. Um, and if we don't have the funds available at the time, find a way, find a way to help. I mean, there's always ways, um, there's always fundraisers, there's always something we can do. Um, nobody gets paid um, in, in this. Uh, we, we we do it on our uh, on our own time and our own dime is the way I like to say it, um, and we and we try to put as much back um, for the programs as we can. Coach, I, I think you just got a new hashtag. You just said, yeah. uh, "What is it?" On your own time, on your own dime. Yep, yeah, exactly. There's a, there's a good hashtag. You know, and here's the other thing too. I say I say it with me on my Twitter uh, hashtag. I love football. You know, yeah. and the one thing I would ask, Coach, if you're not on Instagram, start on Instagram tonight. You know, start a Helmet to Heal on Instagram. If you, when this podcast come out, I hope it's already up and running. If you get a chance, like it on Facebook, like it on Twitter, like it on Instagram once Coach starts that, if he does, you know, and things like that. Coach, with that being said, we're going to go to commercial break. U.S. Army, go Army, Ed Jap is going to be the commercial break. We'll be right back. Coach Stone Podcast number 17. Go Army Edge Football is a free game-changing app that allows coaches to draw their plays with X's and O's like on a whiteboard and then get the mental reps from the first person's perspective of any position on the field with real-time 3D graphics or virtual reality. Go Army Edge Football comes preloaded with many example plays and drills for concepts such as formation recognition and RPO reads. Any coach in any system can benefit from demonstrating in Go Army Edge football, and every player can become a better football player with extra reps in the app. Go visit them 
on their Twitter or Facebook. Insert at Gourmet Edge. Back to Coach Stone Podcast number 17. No whistle blowing already, Coach. This is awesome. I know some of my viewers hate that whistle. First drive question, Coach. Are you ready? Yes, sir. What made you come up with this organization? And then talk a little bit of how it transformed into the day. Because at first you said when you were at GE, you were all about the concussions. I think the movie Concussion came out that same year. Is that correct? Yeah, it did. Um, I was, you know, when I – it was kind of funny how, how, like I said, how it started, I, I was just trying to get, you know, helmets donated from, um, from GE to, um, to Horlick where, where I coached at uh-huh. and it went from, you know, donating helmets to, um, really looking at what the major issue was in the game. And obviously it was concussions and CT and I learned about sub concussive and everything that goes with it. And then it transformed into basically a complete safety program. Um, Per se, almost, when I first thought of it, I almost looked at it as like we're the OSHA. um, We're the OSHA for sports. We, you know, that that this program did everything it had, you know, that it could do to make it as safe as possible. And I just didn't want to have programs, you know, just take a small test and get a certificate and say, you were this certified. I wanted to be able to go in there and say, you know, do you guys practice what you preach? Is it, is it everything that you guys say it is? And, um, and, and really be able to share that good news if these programs are able to do that, obviously I'm not going to go in and completely bash a program and tell them that, Hey, you know, they're not doing it right. We got to fix it. That's not what we're there for. I mean, just like coaching, you don't, you know, yes, you, you may, you know, break it down at times, but the whole point of it is to lift it up and lift it up better than it was before. And that's really what we want to do is we want to be able to lift programs up to make them better, uh, to make them safer to help them um, in any way we can with our donations, whether we donate and it allows them to, um, you know, roll over, let's just say $10,000 uh, to next year that they can budget something else and, and maybe buy some more equipment with. Um, it, it, it's a complete grassroots. Um, we want to be able to just see, you know, see these, these programs grow. And, and uh, you know, hopefully see the game of football grow and, and sports in general. Um, because I mean, I'm talking to you prior to this, I mean, we both agree that football is a microcosm of life. And, and I mm-hmm. think, you know, it teaches you a ton about life and, you know, the, the hardships that may come with it and the successes that come from hard work. And uh, that really, in the end, that's, that's, that's where we want to go and, and see it, you know, flourish. That's awesome. You know, the one thing I would say, too, is, you know, I, I, the, I don't know if you ever do it, but there's a um, um, thing on Twitter, right? They have it's called uh, Believe. Uh, what's it called? I'm trying to think right now. I wish I had it in front of me. Uh, oh, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. It is. Believe, mm-hmm. perform, at Believe, perform. And they said something cool that I always use. Um, so if you don't follow, if you haven't followed them on Twitter, I definitely follow, follow them, at Believe, perform. 15 skilled athletes can transfer from the sport to the working world. Ready? Teamwork mm-hmm. is one. Communications, growth, emotion, coping, tendencies, resilience, leadership, learning, determination, pressure, concentration, commitment, goal setting, and motivation. I don't know about you, but they say sports, right? That's football right there. I don't care what anybody says. Those yep. 15 skills are phenomenal. And, you know, I always talk about hashtag football family. Having a football family is amazing, you know, yep. and it, I, I, I think your program is phenomenal in the way we only talked like for a brief time today and, you know, a couple of days ago when we were just trying to get this thing all square. It's amazing how you transform your company into one thing, and now it's morphed into something three years later, right? Oh, I'm sorry, two and a half yeah. years later, almost three years. Yeah. So 
if, if you don't mind, with the kick with the first drive question, if you don't mind, mm-hmm. what has it transformed into today? You, you touched on it a little bit, but can you just like just say, hey, we started with helmets. Well, I, I mean, let's not even do that because because we're that's a later question. But like, how how do you see it from when you first saw it now? when you first thought of it to now, how did that transform in your mind and eyes? Um, it basically, it, I, I think it went from me asking a question to me answering a question. Um, really? it, it was really, it was one of those things where I, I wanted to be able to help, but he didn't know how to help. Um, and now I, I truly believe that this is a, is, is, is something that is, is needed for you know for sports so i i think just being able to answer the question of of what really needs to be done um and how we can do it all together um Mm -hmm. realizing that i can't handle this all on my own like i i tend i I tended to do in the beginning where i I pretty much took everything over and and ran it my own um now it's really depending on others um that share this passion with me and and basically just you know like i said empowering people empowering people to want to do this empowering people to be you know better for our future for you know yep. future generations and what and what's cool about your company is like you said it's you don't you're not making money on this company you're mm-hmm. asking sponsors like your sponsors you have now and we'll talk about those later mm-hmm. too they give you money to help these programs in those areas and then you vision this company possibly going, you know, nationwide, you know, mm-hmm. so into Chicago, into Utah, into Nevada, into California, into Oregon, New Maine, Florida, Texas, whichever program needs some help that they can't afford stuff, right? Going mm-hmm. in and helping them out, you know, and doing things like that. I think that's phenomenal, Coach. Um, mm-hmm. With that being said, Coach, we're going to go to halftime. So before right. halftime, we're going to get a commercial break. We're going to do a huddle commercial break. Then after the huddle commercial break, they're going to do my book, The Big Four. And then after that, we'll do halftime show, a little marching band, and then come back for the kickoff return question. Okay, Coach? Sounds great. We'll be right back. Coach O, the executive director and founder of Helmets to Heal, Coach Stone Podcast number 17. We'll be right back. Huddle is a leading software company revolutionizing the way coaches and athletes prepare and stay ahead of the competition. Go to at Huddle Football on Twitter or go to www.huddle.com slash football for more information on Huddle. The Big Four, a physical education book written by Coach Anthony Stone, can be purchased through the following locations, Amazon, iTunes, BarnesandNoble.com, and Kobo. Brunch. Dirty dollar. Hey, that's okay, Wendy. That was a good carry. You're still the man. You're the man. Latte. Ah. Four dollars. Shake it off, Johnny. Rub some dirt on it. New piano. Three thousand dollars. All right, guys. They're not saying boo. They're saying movers. Supporting your team. Priceless. Sorry, right, Bobby. You still got the best arm in the neighborhood. There are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard. This is decaf, right? Back from commercial break, that, Coach, I felt like that was an hour. Holy cow. I got water. I had pizza. I don't know if you had a cup of coffee just to stay awake. I apologize, Coach. The wife was making dinner today. Um, here we go, though. Um, coach, are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready to go. For, I just wanted to make sure. Kickoff return question. How does your company help the football teams in Wisconsin in the last couple of years? Okay, answer that, and then I'll give you a follow-up question after that. All right. Um, we... Like I said, you know, speaking before, when we first started out, uh, it was it was about helmets. It was about donating helmets and the safest helmets, the you know, the ones that we believed in. Um, like I said, we worked with Zenith, and um, the only reason, you know, I think the biggest reason we went with it is that, you know, Zenith, with a lot of the studies, they were very open to what um, what what their product was, you know, what what they had, what their product was. I mean, I, I got to see a lot of stuff that most people don't get to see um, uh, about decelerating the head and the bonnet system and the form fit and all that stuff like that. Um, And we started out donating helmets and it was about 
it was about 250 helmets we ended up donating to three um, high schools in Racine, um, a high school in Madison. Uh, we were, again, working in Madison again, and then there was a program in Muskego that we were working with, and we're going to be working with the program again this year, well, starting this year in Milwaukee. So we started out with uh, helmets, and then we were looking for something that um, could be almost a medical checkup um, in case of some kind of, you know, TBI of some some sort. And we went with King Devic, and we we donated, you know, we donated 250, and kind of, you know, watched to see if this would work because we really mm-hmm. wanted to create data out of this whole, you know, out of this whole scenario. We wanted we wanted more than just hey, we're donating helmets you know, hope this works out for you. If you have any problems, give us a call. We wanted to see if we could get some data to back what we were doing. And um, King Devic, it it gave us some tools, but then we decided to go um, elsewhere on more of a, a bit of an easy, we didn't want, we didn't want to make five different parents the doctor out on the field. We wanted to be, you know, we wanted to allow, you know, medical you know, medical professionals to actually do their job and, and parents just to see the signs. Um, so we, you know, donated pretty much throughout southern Wisconsin from Kenosha, which is on the southern border of Illinois, Wisconsin, all the way up to, you know, Madison, Wisconsin. Um, and, you know, here and there we've, we've, we've helped out, you know, these multiple programs and and they've been able to you know some have been able to branch off and start their own youth program and some have been able to just you know manage to purchase better pads the following year after that so so pretty much like you've had i was counting it down you had about five programs the first couple of years right and those Mm -hmm. five programs how many total helmets you think you guys had um uh probably it was right around 250 250 helmets. That's pretty good, and that's Zenith, right? Yeah, it was Zenith. Yeah, we. It that, was... That's pretty awesome. That, and and like real quick, we got to just get. You didn't pay a dime. You guys no. helped out these programs because they like either wrote to you or said, "Hey, we're in dire need of this stuff because we have we need more or we need to help because you know how helmets run out in 10 years, right? You said it best. <laughs> we don't want the parents to be the doctors. We're just mm-hmm. you're just trying to increase numbers. You know, at first mm-hmm. it was all about the concussion movie, but now it's 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 evolved, right? Yeah. And things like that. With that being said, who have you partnered with lately and currently? Because I believe they're on your website. Is that correct? Your yeah. I think you call them the community partners. Yep. Who have you did that with, and why? And I I, I know we talked a little about it a little bit. I heard there's a mouthpiece involved. There's a skull cap with second skull. Things like that. Mm-hmm. I don't mean to steal your thunder, but Explain that no. to the audience of what that, those are some items that also they could possibly get. Yeah, um, we we were the first company to really partner up with us was was Zenith, and we became their community outreach partner. Um, it was pretty. It was it was very flattering to be able to work with such you know such a great company that that I think they took this mission on as much as we did. Um, they didn't have a foundation, and we became their foundation. Um, and together, we've been able to, you know, the new technologies that are coming out. I know uh, 2019 Zenith will be coming out with a new helmet, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, and the reason we chose to work with Zenith was there was there was two things, and it was um, one, it was the bonnet system, and with the bonnet system. It's basically a free-floating shell, if you can kind of think of it. Um, and basically, it the shell will move right around a quarter of an inch before the head and neck are even affected. So really what the idea was is that it was decelerating the head, um, which in tail was decelerating the brain. That was kind of the reason why, and it was a form fit every time. I found, like, you know, with youth programs, they're – and you know how it is, kids going through puberty and so on and so forth, their jaws are bigger than what the crown of their head should be. They're just, you know, they're they're growing in, you know, two different ways. And we found that with Zenith helmets that it fit 
no matter, you know, if their crown was bigger than what their jawline was or so on and so forth, we found that it was the best fitting helmet. Um, Athlete Intelligence, they make the vector mouth guard and the Q, and basically it is it is every bit of data that you need to, you know, from the vector mouth guard to blood pressure to pulse and everything along those lines to the Q where it measures the hits and, and how, you know, the force of the hits and everything along those lines. Um, they've been great all the way across the board. Jesse Harper, uh, he's a CEO. He's ton of ton of people he's introduced us to and 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 really just trying to work with these guys and they're going to kind of be the data side of it um where they can run the data and kind of go back and forth with zenith on you know what improvements they can make together hopefully um and then we started awesome. working with steve steve sloan at tackle tubes uh steve he is um rugby you know rugby style tackling um i got to uh, meet his partner from over the pond this uh at uh <laughs> we were at this summer and great 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 people i have nothing but great things to say about steve and and um and what he's doing and and working together with him is really an honor and being able to work side to side with them um and then hobert mayfield um that's the safe clip that is almost like a spring-loaded clip that replaces the bottom clip on the face mask um, and it reduces the force of the hit on a head or a face mask to face mask collision by anywhere from 20 to 28 um, percent everything it is it's a, it's a numbers game with what we're doing we're just you know we're trying to mitigate the risk we're just trying to bring it down as much as we can all the way across the board second skull obviously they were the NFL um, head health challenge winners um, this last year um, I think it was something that NFL thought would be a good fit to work with us, and we thought it would be a great fit. Um, and they basically, it's a skull cap they make for seven-on-seven seven flag football skull caps, and they work directly with athlete intelligence to run their data on a lot of their, you know, skull caps, so it's all built into one. Um, and then Team Safe, uh, Dr. Horowitz um, out of Texas, he basically has this program that it is a full all the way across medical, you know, medical program. It it will tell you signs and symptoms of things, whether it's a broken leg or um, anything along those lines, and it will be complete interaction through the app of, you know, doctor's excuses, you know, return to play, um, anything, any you know, emergency contact, so on and so forth. So it was one of those things where – Team Safe was one of those things where we could see ourselves going outside of football and working in other sports um, that could, you know, that we could help with just by utilizing Team Safe because it's an all-around just it's a it's a great safety tool to have and it's very very inexpensive. So um, awesome. yeah, those 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 are pretty much the uh, the folks that we work with. I mean, there's. I'm sure there's more to come, um, and and we hope it continues to grow, and and we hope we can help out programs as much as we can, and we can help out these these great companies that we work with. That's awesome. And and coach, with that being said, we're going to go to commercial break, and you you'll never guess what the next commercial is. Tackle tubes, tackle tube USA, Coach Stone Podcast 17. We're with Coach O. We'll be right back. Tackle tube USA commercial. The safety of your players is more important than ever. As the game changes to protect the players, TechoTube USA is a leading way with the original innovative product design, not only to practice safer, but promote and teach the best tackling technique. Invented in 2009 by professional rugby player and coach Glenn Remnant, TechoTube allows the players to simulate real game situations, track and tackle a moving target, promote great body position, and improve technique and timing. Coaches in the U.S. and all over the globe are using Tackle Tube to promote a safer and more effective way to tackle. Unlike other bags that have a limited use, there are many ways to use a Tackle Tube in your practice, both in season and out of the season. Drills for every position, Tackle Tube never needs to leave the practice field. Check us out at TackleTubeUSA.com or on our YouTube channel and all social media. 
Look for Tackle Tube USA. Back from commercial break, Coach Stone Podcast 17. Here we go. Second drive question, Coach. If a team wants your organization to help out and they're not in Wisconsin, how can they do that? Uh, please, please reach out to us on on any of our you know social media platforms that we're on. Obviously, you talked me into Instagram tonight, so <laughs> we're putting. Up oh yeah, hey, look at that, boom! Yeah, hey, got, coach, I don't use Instagram, but we got to figure it out. I'll, I'll, I'll like it somehow, you know. So it, we'll get, we we'll can, get it on we there. can work together. We can work together to get this thing going. Yeah, uh, right. But, exactly. Uh, we have you know uh, Twitter. And we have Facebook that you can get a hold of us. It's at Helmets to Heal would be Facebook, um, at Helmets Heal for Twitter. And I'll let you guys know what my name is for Instagram. Um, or just, you know, go to our website at www.helmetstoheal.com and write us uh, a message on there uh, on a con- in the uh, contact um, part of it. And we will be able to get back to you um, as soon as possible. Uh, we really want to be able to help out as many as we can, obviously being a nonprofit and depending on, you know, somewhat of, you know, great, fantastic giving donors that we do have. Um, we um, we like to be able to give out as much as we can, you know. So, yeah, just reach out to us and, and, and hopefully we can help you out. And here's the other thing, audience, if you're listening com. if you go to their website, on the left side, they have their Facebook, their Twitter, and all that stuff. They're, they're going to have to add their Instagram because they have their email in there, too, to contact them, things like that. So, Coach, here we go. Um, we got everything done. We're going to go We're gonna go right now to a commercial break. We're going to come back, and then we're going to do the two-minute warning. Okay, Coach? Fantastic. Here we go. 3D Coaching Commercial, Coach Stone Podcast number 17. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. What legacy will you leave as a coach? The three-dimensional coaching framework empowers coaches at every level to fulfill their transformational purpose by helping them become fundamentally sound, skilled at coaching the mind, and focused on developing the heart. Are you needing to take courses to meet professional development or recertification requirements? If so, check out the different online 3D coaching course offerings at 3dinstitute.com. You can even take the 3D coaching course for three graduate credits. Make sure you use the coupon UNITEALL to save 10% on your entire cart. That's UNITEALL, no spaces, all one word, at 3dinstitute.com. Back from commercial break, Coach Stone Podcast number 17. I got Coach Kyle on the line, the executive director, founder of Helmets to Heal. Um, Coach, two minutes now. The floor is mm-hmm. yours. Go ahead. Uh, first off, is none of this could be, you know, possible um, if without our, our fantastic uh, sponsors, and and they sponsor a huge load of what we're what we're doing. Um, SC Johnson, um, fantastic company, uh, local um, here in Wisconsin. Um, they've been nothing but great. Um, helped out as much as they could, um, and. We couldn't do this without them. Uh, Menasha uh, Packaging in Menasha, Wisconsin, they've uh, sponsored us. Uh, Zenith has sponsored us. Thank you very much to them. Um, Tackle Tubes has uh, sponsored us. I appreciate everything you guys have done. Um, and Athlete Intelligence, um, they've, they've you know, steered us in the right direction to be able to uh, find people that are really, you know, passionate about our mission and what we're trying to do. Um, we are, like I said, a small startup, and, and really what we're trying to do is is maximize, you know, maximize donations, maximize, um, is you know, the people that we work with, and hopefully, you know, together we, we all have a little bit of, you know, a little bit of a part in, in, making, this, in making this thing roll and, and keep going and, and hopefully someday that we can all look back at this and say, hey, you know, we, we fought the fight, we won, football is back to where it should be, and uh, we can enjoy it on Saturdays, Sundays, and Friday nights. Awesome. That's awesome, Coach. So with that being said, there's the end of the game. I want to thank you so much for being a guest on the show for Coach Stone Podcast number 17. I want to thank you for taking your time and everything. 
talking about your company. If there's any company, now, Coach, are you nationwide or worldwide? That's the next question I'd have to ask you. Well, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully we can be worldwide someday. Uh, okay. Na- nationwide is is where we're at right now. We're, we're uh, starting at nationwide because we're right now we're only ba- you're only based in Wisconsin. So this yep. year for sure we're going to stay uh, in the United States. After that, we might be able to spread. You might be able to spread out to other countries and things like that. So do me a favor, Coach. If there's any program in the United States that is trying to get more helmets or things like this or tackle tubes or second skulls or, you know, all those programs you said, the, the mouthpieces that do the blood pressure and everything, how do they contact you again? Give them your website, you know, and all that stuff, and then we'll, we'll call it a night, okay? Sounds good. Uh, yeah, you can get a hold of me at www.helmsteel.com. Um, my email, uh, phone number. Um, is on there. Uh, my email is kro at helmetsteel.com. You can get a hold of uh, Christine at cfm at helmetsteel.com. And obviously all of our, you know, our social media platforms, get a hold of us there. And uh, just write us a little letter and get back out to you and, and, and hopefully we can help out. Perfect. Also, that's awesome, Coach. I want to, I wanna, Coach, thanks again for coming on. I want to thank everyone listening to Coach Stone Podcast. Coach Stone Podcast number 17. Thank you to J.C. Hawks Radio. Thanks to J.C. Hawks Sports Network. Thanks for BG, B.J. Coletta for letting me do this. Remember, if you ever missed an episode, you can go on iTunes under J.C. Hawks Radio or go to Stitcher. I'll leave everybody with this. Always remember instilling confidence by laying a foundation. Thank you very much, everyone, and have a great day. Coach Stone Podcast number 17. Coach Stone Podcast. I can't see